Welcome back, one and all, to Let's Play Final Fantasy. I'm the Arcane Rogue. Let's continue with our adventure. Alright, here's a new enemy. It's a Red Hydra. Uh, it is weak to ice. Uh, otherwise, it's just like the Hydra that we met outside the volcano, except that it does a mass fire damage attack that you saw there. Um, Anti-fire can help with some of these enemies, and if I met a large group of them, I certainly would cast it. Alright, let's go grab that treasure to the west. And then we'll grab the two chests to the south before we go hit the rest of the treasure on this floor. Alright, I'm gonna beat these guys up off screen. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, you may notice that, you know, there's a little, a few things that might be a little different between last video and this one. Uh, these are fire enemies. We'll talk about those in a second. Uh, and that's because, well, I've tried recording this video twice now, and every time I end up getting completely wiped out. The first time, I admit, was my fault. It was my fault. I screwed up. I stopped paying attention, I didn't keep an eye on my HP totals, I turned around, both my mages were completely dead, Friar Tuck had 10 HP, Little John had 30, and I was fighting these two guys. Uh, they do 60 to 100 points of damage per strike before armor. So that can be a pain. Um, they are weak to ice, uh, but since I don't have ice too, I'm not going to waste my spell charges. Uh, instead, I'm going to have much cast heal just to kind of try and keep up with the damage a little bit. It's not going to, but we're going to try. Um... I think next round I'll have him cast heal too. They have 296 HP. The second time I got wiped out, I was fighting an enemy around here called the Perilisk, which is related to the Cockatrice, only instead of stoning you, it just outright kills you. It squints at you, and you die. So... That's a thing to watch out for. I had completely forgotten about that. Ugh. So annoying. Alright. Let's get this last fire elemental. Okay, here we get the giant sword. Now, I'm only going to equip this, equip this for a little while on Little John. And that's because if we look at his status, you can see that he, even though he lost a little bit of damage, he was doing 39 points of damage. The extra 5 hit percentage from this weapon pushes him over into the next hit multiplier, so he can get up to 3 strikes per round. Uh, so, I'm going to hold on to this for now. And once he gets to the next level in his next battle, assuming it gives us enough XP, um, once he gets to level 14, we'll switch back to the Silver Sword. Um, I'm not going to bother putting it on Will Scarlet, because again, we blew the tons of cash that we had on, you know, giving him a Silver Sword too. So, don't really need it. Alright, gonna bite, bite, I'm gonna bite these guys. No, I'm gonna beat them up, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So this will be enough to level up for sure. So we can see we're getting a lot of HP now. Uh, levels in this game are designated as either strong or weak HP gain levels based on your character class, and that dictates their HP growth. So, you know, that's a thing. Here's another uh, fixed encounter point with a fire elemental, so I'm going to beat him up. Be right back. All right, and we're back. In this chest, we get a silver helm that we don't need. So um, let's trade back that, and we're going to have Will hold on to the giant sword for now, because here in a level or two, 
he'll be within range where that five extra hit percentage will benefit him in terms of getting an extra hit multiplier. And at that point, I'll put the giant sword on him. Um, but until then, he can, you know, keep a hold of the silver sword. Ah, Mux. I'll beat these guys. Be right back. All right. Let's get this treasure chest here, which is guarded by more fire elementals. Back in a moment. And we're back. I mean, even little John with these fire elementals takes, you know, 30-odd points of damage per hit. They're, they're not really playing around. Okay. So, we want to go through this door. The far, far left door in this room is a red herring. It actually doesn't lead you anywhere you, you want to go. Um, these are them. These are the Perilisks. Run. Run. I don't... I, I was original. I fought them the first time I ran encountered them, and then I remembered that they could kill us. And by kill us, I mean they wiped me out. Because I had forgotten. Alright. Now, some of these chests are guarded. Some of them are not. And I believe this whole room was guarded by that. So... I'll fight this guy. Be right back. Nice. Little John does a three hit, 169 damage critical hit that takes out the fire. Awesome. All right. Here we get some silver gauntlets, silver helmet. Ah, more giants. Ah, be right back. After that battle, little John, uh, <laughs> not doing so hot. So let's, uh, let's patch him up, shall we? Will... Give him a cure, too. Really, Will? Do it again. And again. Alright. Let's use some of our heal potions on him. Alright, that's good enough. Let's uh, heal up everybody else while we're at it. Like you. And Brad Tuck, the hypest of healing action available to you only on YouTube here in the Arcane Rogue, Ch Rogue channel. All right, in this chest we get a heal potion, a cabin, one thousand nine hundred seventy-five gold, a fixed encounter point with a gray worm. Um. <laughs> It's an earthworm. It's a sandworm. <laughs> Sorry. Having Beetlejuice flashbacks. All right. Uh, that was a really great cartoon. You know, I mean, it was a good movie, but it was a really great cartoon, too. They have 280 HP, are weak to ice, and are immune to quake and fire. <laughs> That's just for kicks and giggles. Let's see how an ice one spell fares against them. Why not? Ow. Oh, 58 damage, not, not bad, not bad. When I cast Ice One against some of the fire, one of the fire elementals, uh, <laughs> it did 19 damage. So, pure potion and a bunch of gold. Here we get more gold. I'm gonna bet that this next spot is, tra uh, no, not a fixed encounter. Cool. Another silver shield. And a spare silver axe. Let's take a look and see if that would give us an advantage for Little John, you know? Well, he's at exactly 64%, so I don't think it will. No, it drops us below 64%, not worth the trade-off in terms of damage. I'm not going to sacrifice an extra hit for two points of damage. And Fire Elemental at that fixed encounter point. Be right back. All right. Let's keep going. Now, as you can see, I'm being pretty free with my magic, and that's because I don't intend on going the whole way to the boss in this run. That, that was both, you know, a finish to my statement and a de declarative to my party to run. Okay, so let's see here. Map, map, map. Same map. Okay, um, so I want to go east to that f to the wall there, and then head straight north, and that'll be the last two treasure chests on this floor. <laughs> More perilisks. Uh, thank you. 
or some gold. And a fixed encounter point with a fire. Be right back. All right, easy enough. When it's just one of them, it's not nearly as much of a threat as two or more. And some more gold. So I'm gonna make my way back to the doorway we came in from, which is basically just go up here and then go south. Oh, red gargoyles. They're like gargoyles, only red. And so they're weak to ice, uh, as most of them are. Let's have Will cast that. Uh, keep an eye on your HP totals, um, because, again, these guys can cast fire too, and this is what took out my party the first time when I wasn't paying attention. Because look at that damage. So have your healers, keep everybody um, up, and then when Much gets a chance, I'm going to have him cast anti-fire because I do not want another fire to hit coming through and smashing through my party. If I can help it. I don't remember what their cast rate is, but whatever it is, it's it's too high. <laughs> too high for my comfort. Alright, so you cast anti-fire, insulate the party. And try not to get killed in the meantime. Uh, they have, I think, 96 HP? Let's take a look. On my ancient beat-up. Ow! Oh, this is gonna be a wipe. There goes much. Okay, well, looks like we are running away. They have 94 HP. Alright, run. Everybody run. Escape. Holy cow. Well, <clears throat> much is dead, so we're going to do our best to escape this place without, you know, suffering a similar fate. At least not all of us. And we're out of healing magic. Okay, let's try and get out of here. You're all coming along for the ride on this one. Alright, so because much is dead, I'm going to stick into the damage floor as much as possible. Because that will prevent any random battles. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Heck. These guys hit hard. Get us out of here, guys. Come on, little John. Get us out of here. Y'all are coming along for the ride for this one because, well, it's nerve wracking. Whew. Okay. Oops. Forgot to heal the poison. Right. Let's reorder the party. Uh, no. We don't want Friar Tuck in the second slot. His HP is very low. Okay. Make it, make it, make it, make it! Good. Okay. All right. Ugh, seriously? That's a troll move right there. All right, I'm gonna use a cabin or two. All right, that should be enough to let us get back to Crescent Lake or Elfland. Uh, Elfland. I'm gonna go back to Elfland. So I'm gonna go back the way we came. I'll meet you. I'll meet you all at Elfland off screen. Um. Sorry, I'm going to travel back to Elfland off-screen. I'll meet you there. And uh, add another one to the poison counter, because that's a thing that's happening. Alright, see you all in Elfland. Alright, we made it back to Elfland. Barely. Let's go get uh, much brought back to life. Use two pure potions off-screen. So... That's a thing. 
Let's go to the inn, restore our HP and spell charges, and then let's pick up the Ice 2 spell. Let's see, I think this is a level 4 shop? No, this is level 3. Level 4 is in the northwest corner of town. Because of course it is. If I sound annoyed, it's because this is ser seriously derailed my plan. <laughs> but these kinds of things do happen. Um, let's let's check here. Much? No, you don't have anything other than anti-ice, which will be useful in the ice cave. But what can we get you with? Um, nothing useful. You know what? I still want to keep track of pure potion usage, but why not? We'll get the pure spell while we're at it. it. Gives us something else to use those spell charges on. Alright. Will? Ice 2, please, bro. Uh, I think that's everything that we would want for that. If I recall, both our mages have full... Uh, level 3 spell charges. Yeah, full level 3 spell lists. Um, I can't think of anything for level 2 that would, might be useful for Will, anyway. Um, or much, but let me check my notes real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. Uh, no. <laughs> no, nothing useful for level 2 magic, so... It is what it is. Uh, where are we on items? Good enough. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll head back to the volcano. Um, we have a couple other places to visit that are attached to the uh, river system, but we'll get there. Yeah, let's head back to the volcano. This time we'll just go straight through. I'm just going to run from these guys. I don't feel like fighting them. I'll run. Um, this time we'll just go straight through down to B4, because that's the next floor where there's actual treasure. Whoops. Well, we'll beat these guys up. They won't take that long. Be right back. Alright, and we're back. Let's get to that volcano! Again! <laughs> really? Well, you all know how to get to the volcano, so I'll just meet you there. And we're back. Uh, next time, unfortunately though, we're out of time. So, next episode, we'll head down to levels G4 and G5 of the Gurku Volcano, and we'll finish stripping it of treasure um, before we head to the Ice Cave. So, I'll see you then in... See you in the next episode, gang. I've been the Arcane Rogue. And I hope you have a wonderful day.